Okay, Andy, I thought I would make a little video here for you since you were kind of customizing this whole application if you were to purchase it. Um, so as you can see here, this is uh, where the actual eight, the uh, the plot, or sorry, the winch was mounted right here, and it was basically this is how it was sitting on the bike. Here's the receiver collars for the actual. Wow. Uh, the plow tube base there. Um, so this guy here, if I measure him at 17 and a half, the depth sorry, the depth is about three and a quarter. Yeah, and then the, the height on this central plate is basically four and a quarter is what it is here, between here and there. Um, come on, right there. So there you go. It, when it was mounted on the plow itself, it was basically the Outlander mount as a single tube on a frame or a single piece of steel. And that's what this little backing plate basically pinched the top. And then there was a plate on that bottom on those screws directly underneath this, uh, this thing here. So these guys here mounted as well on the frame. So there you go. That's what the actual mount looks like for the unit itself. If there's any other measurement that you want, just let me know. I can just manipulate it. Again, uh, uh, three and a quarter. Uh, to the central point on this guy is four and a half. You see where I'm measuring. Uh, it's about four and a half inches between that and the central line of this uh, of these hubs. Uh, what else you'd want to know? Uh, if you're making up a plate, come on, God. If you're making up a plate for that, that is four and one eighth of an inch between the bottom and the top of this. And I don't know if you need it, but I'll measure it, save time maybe later. That's one and a half inches mounting anything between the bottom of this here to the top of that. There you go. Anyways, I can make you anything else you need. Just let me know.